dress up as Mikey stuff. You can dress up as Mikey. You dressing up as? I even know who I dress up as. I I feel like I feel like I have to be a black character, right? Yeah, black. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, I think I think I was telling you about this, but I, I want to be Piccolo. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I swear Piccolo's black. <laughs> I've been saying, bro. No, I'm telling you, Piccolo's actually black. He is. He is. <laughs> it, it, but his voice, his voice, it just. I don't know. There's no other character that can be Piccolo but Black. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> nah, I remember I was watching this this art this R D C video, yeah. and they basically said like, "Yo, any any character who's like a different like color, like green or something, they're all black." That makes like, sense. They're, they're, that they're, makes sense. Like, like Frieza and like all that shit. Oh, Frieza! Frieza definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're saying all these off color characters are all black. <laughs> That makes sense, bro. Yo, um, even in in backyard against, yeah, Unico. Oh, black, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, no, that, yo, a hundred percent, Unico, Tasha, a hundred percent, fam. <laughs> even um, I don't know if you guys know this because I think it's a Canadian show, uh, but Timothy goes to school. Doris, Doris, <laughs> Doris Morris, Morris. <laughs> Yeah, one hundred percent black. And um, uh, oh, Fra- Frank and Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank. <laughs> Frank and Frank, Frank and Frank, bro. Oh, we eating oh beans, God. bro. <laughs> beans. <laughs> oh, yo, that show was goaded, man. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had a theory for that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Frank and Frank theory. <laughs> oh my God, yo, what what I really want though, I really want them to bring back those shows on like mm-hmm. Netflix and shit, cause. I can't find them anywhere, bro. Wait, like, like you want them like, like a remake? No, or not a remake. Like, oh, like you, the actual episodes. Yeah, just to watch them. But I feel like because it's uh, it's Canadian. Uh huh. The Amer- like they're they're not gonna put money into putting it back, right? Or like, if anything, they only just put it on like Canadian Netflix. Would they? I don't know. I but, don't even think. I don't even think they would at all. I don't know because like, I know like they do that for certain regions. Like they like they put their region show like on like their Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But so like I don't know. Like like Netflix like Japan might have like more anime or something. Mm-hmm. Yo, I I always had this idea, right? Uh huh. I had this idea, and you know how Netflix, whenever you're scrolling through, you you can never like find something to watch. Yeah. Even though there's so much to watch. There. So I had this crazy idea. What if they just make it almost like. TV before you know how live TV you just mm-hmm. turn on the TV and whatever is on was on right? yeah you just watched it they should make an option so that it will play a random movie TV show whatever I really have that no but like midway through or like oh, one third of the way oh, through part way through yeah yeah so you get like you're you you just jumped in yeah no you yeah, yeah they, they should really have that they should do that they should do that because I feel like it's way better than what they do right now with just the random because yeah. it starts from the beginning because even if if you start from the beginning it's like ah uh, I have to get into yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. but remember those days where like you're flipping through the channels and you just see like a crazy scene yeah cause, cause, yo I came I kind of miss that vibe yeah I'm like, yeah just going on a random channel I'm like I'm like yo, yo what, what is the show mm, exactly it's like halfway through yeah that's right it, that makes me want to watch like more episodes of it because I missed the start point mm-hmm. like it makes me like want to watch like the next episode or something yeah that that's what got me into fucking like naruto and shit when they when they played it on like oh, teletoon yeah that's true and this and that right like that that's how i got into a lot of shows and i would have never gave all of those um even those movies chance yeah i would never gave those movies a chance bro honestly we need to see that we need to see or i had a crazy idea they uh, should make like a netflix tv itself that looks like my vhs tv that you can oh, buy as novelty that would be sick Right? That'll be so sick. And you just put in your room or some shit. Yo, I always thought about this. Well, yo, if you were to create a TV show, what would you create? Like, what, like, what type of show would you, would you create? Like a TV show? Yeah. Bro, I said that, I think I said this before, but I want to create a TV show that's like about Filipinos. About Filipinos. Like yo, in Toronto. Yo, honestly, because they don't have that. They don't, there's nothing. They, 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 don't, they don't have something like that. So if you were to do that, I'm telling you. Like, I think Fresh Off the Boat, Fresh Off the Boat is kind of close, but it's it's still Chinese. It's not like yeah, Filipino. Because yeah. I feel like Filipino culture is a little bit... It's, it's, it's different. very different. It's yeah. very different. Like it's it's kind of like its own thing. Because because Filipinos, they're like... They're, they're technically Spanish influence. Yeah. And they're Islander influence, right? So it's like a different vibe, you know? It's a different vibe. Yeah, it's a different vibe to it. So if I if I make a TV show, I'm going to do that. Yo, um, you see uh, you see the, the metaverse, though? Oh. Have, have, have you seen things on... Mark Zuckerberg's like oh isn't that like the, like the new like the the new Facebook name or something like that yeah so yeah, Mark yeah. Zuckerberg he changed Facebook's name to Meta yeah right and do you remember uh Ready Player One yeah yeah so you know how like they had that one game is called the the Oasis the Oasis yeah and that was pretty much a decentralized like platform everybody can hop on and play right mm-hmm. so Mark Zuckerberg's trying to be that guy that creates the quote unquote the metaverse the second world everybody plays on and I think. 
we called this back before in other episodes, but I think there's going to be a huge push for this. And eventually, let's say this world becomes like destroyed or like no more resources. We don't want to live here. Yeah. We're all going to live through virtual reality in the metaverse yeah in the metaverse because yo it's crazy because i saw this thing and people can actually buy property like in vr yeah they like, can, they like can. Pe people are literally buying like like lots of land in in vr mm -hmm. and it's it's crazy because um you never know where it's gonna be that is true. it's so hard to tell right because if, if you buy it right now Mm -hmm. Who's who's to who's to say like they might make another verse? That's what I'm saying. That's why it's tough. Right? It's, like, it's like it's like like how do you know which one is the right one to buy into? Yeah, because yo, I was actually thinking about it. Like I I, I know it sounds like a stupid idea, mm -hmm. but yo, like I, I want a VR house. Yo, everybody wants that. Like, I, Eventually. I, want, I want that so badly. Eventually, but the only thing because we don't know shit if we put it into meta if we put uh -huh. it into i think there's one called Sandbox, Decentraland, whatever. They might just make a next one, and all of that shit's not gonna be worth anything but i don't know like if it's made by like facebook i, I think that's gonna be the one you think that's the one i think that's gonna be the one i i heard there's like a lot of backlash though because they don't want mark zuckerberg to be that guy but why not though he's, he's already like he, he has influence in it anyways like, no, no but, matter what but they're saying like he wants to make it so it's a it's more of a business for facebook as in like you gotta pay them oh okay because you know how okay look look at the internet yeah the internet is free Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can post whatever onto the internet. You can make your own servers, whatever. You don't have to like pay. Who's the internet? <laughs> you get me? <laughs> who's <laughs> who owns oh, the, internet? Who's the internet? Yeah, who's the internet? Right? It's not like somebody owns the internet. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Actually, that's a good question. Yo, who's the internet, fam? Actually, who who does own the internet? Who, who, do, who does own the internet? Who invented that shit? First of all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, because I think I heard before. That in World War Two they already uh -huh. had the internet made. Yeah, it, it was only until like the nineties they released it, but they had that shit made already. But was it an American invention? It has to be. I, I, I yo, I think like ninety percent chance it was American event invention. That's really interesting, right? But yo, now I think. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait you said it was made in like World War Two? Yeah, that's what it was made. Mm -hmm. I'm about to say, I'm like, yo, the person who made that, like, he's he can be like probably one of the most powerful people on earth, man. What if they are? What if they are right now or that family that's is? That's what I'm saying. Like the family that owns it. Yo, but how's it's so it's so crazy to think now. Like, if somebody made that made the internet, right? And there's no name or face to it, mm -hmm. how did it become what it is? I think they did that like on purpose. To hide? To hide it. Yo, you know what's crazy, right? Because yo, honestly, I, yo, if I made something that powerful, like, yeah, I don't think I would want to be noticed. Like I, I think I, I want to just stay in the shadow and just like keep collecting from it. Damn. Because, yo, if you're noticed like that, then that they can put a hit marker on you. That's true. That's true. So I had this crazy, like, theory, right? Uh-huh. I had this crazy theory that what if the reason they're really pushing for a virtual reality is so it's easier to control us? Mm, yo, listen, listen, listen. Uh -huh. So as crazy as it is, right, so many things influence us. Yeah. Whether it be, like, TV, ads, um even just marketing in general, yeah. they do subconscious things to fuck with our mind and then like push us towards a, a pathway. And it right? works. And it works and it works. So what if they really want to push us into this virtual reality to narrow down on every single thing we do? Because if you think about it, if we are set into that, mm -hmm. then it's all automated. Yeah. You get me? Mm. It, it's not as free as like here. Yeah, because like the thing about like if we're going into their world, mm -hmm. that means it's on their control. Like they, exactly, they can literally like change anything in the system in the VR world. Yeah, and like that can like completely like fuck us over. And you know what's fucked, bro? So if you think about it, everything that's written down in history, yeah, we don't really know the truth. We just know what's written down. Mm, yo, <laughs> you get that's me? That's so true. That's so true. So let's say let's say a big battle happened like thousands of years ago. Yeah. And somebody won, but they wrote down the person that lost one instead. Mm -hmm. All we would know is what's written what's down because we weren't there. Yeah, there's no, there's no way of capturing that moment back there. Exactly. Other than writing and storytelling. Yeah. There's this German historian, right? Mm -hmm. And he found a study that during the years, I think 614, like AD, it's yeah. so like 911 AD or something like that was all doctored and it was tampered with. Really? And... There was a push to hide it, to hide that it was changed. Wait, to, to like hide all those years? Mm -hmm. But why though? Why, why would they want to hide it? So check this out. Mm -hmm. there, there was like a European emperor and he wanted to show that he conquered other things around Europe. 
Yeah. But it didn't really happen. But he wanted that to be down in history. So he wanted to change history in a sense. And if you think about it, that's all they had, right? They didn't have the internet. They didn't have like some way to show what happened in the past besides the books they write Mm -hmm. and whatever's written down in quote unquote history, right? So he wanted to change history and solidify himself forever. Yeah. So that's why that's why he wrote it down like that. Yeah. So this uh this historian found out that from this year to this year, all of this shit is fake. Or like it's been changed and they're trying to hide it. Yo, it's crazy because I believe this they, they said the same thing about like the Middle Ages. Middle Ages. Yeah, huh? like yo, like apparently I can't remember like the reason why, but like they said like there's a chance that the Middle Ages like didn't exist at all. And that, and that everything was in it was like all fake. And ah, it didn't happen that way. That's crazy. Cause if you think about it, even even like dragons too, bro. Yeah, dragons. You know how in um in all these stories all around the world, even in the Middle Ages, they talk about dragons. Yo, it's possible dragons are real, fam. I think <laughs> yo, it's actually fun. if they're dinosaurs, yo, honestly, they're gonna be dragons. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is my belief. This uh, is my theory on it. Is that dragons did exist and they were dinosaurs. But what happened was there's like a study on this too. The wings mm-hmm. of birds don't decompose or don't stay intact like the rest of the other bones. Mm-hmm. So let's say a T-Rex was actually a dragon and it had Ooh, wings. But the like you wings, couldn't find it out because the wings. The wings would have decomposed and not stayed intact with the rest of the bones. Oh, that's so So it would true. be lost forever. So when you put all the bones together, and this is even true in science, like uh-huh. when they do put these bones together, they try and make something of it but it's all theory, right? Like they're not sure exactly yeah. what it is or exactly how the skin fell on it. Yeah, yo, because most time they like, don't even have all the bones. Like they only, they only have like fifty percent of them. Yeah, exactly. After they like have to guess how it looks like. Mm-hmm. They have to guess how it looks like. For a long time, we didn't even know they had feathers, bro. Yeah. For a long time, yeah, we, we didn't know that. We even know that they, that they had hair and shit. Exactly. So now, if you look at ancient pictures of dragons, uh-huh. like Chinese dragons, Japanese dragons, even the European ones, a lot of them. They had hair. Like, look at the Japanese dragons. Like, yeah. the Yakuza tattoos. Yeah. They have hair, bro. They have, like, feathers. Yeah, they all like the, like, the long hair and all that. Yeah. So, bro, maybe maybe they knew something. Maybe they knew something. And they knew that dragons existed at that time. But it's so weird that, I don't know, how there's no proof of it anymore. How did, <laughs> how did the idea of a dragon be prominent everywhere around the world, but there's no proof of a real the, one? There's the, the no proof of a real one. Like, that's that, so makes, crazy. <laughs> that makes no sense. That makes no sense, right? Well, like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, as further like down we get with like technology, like we're going to be able to like figure all this because yo, uh, have you seen that thing? Like how they, they brought back, a, uh, they're bringing back like a, a mammoth. A oh yeah. Mammoth. Yeah. That's crazy. And like, it's, a, it's actually about to happen soon. Mm-hmm. So like, imagine if we can do that, but like for like dinosaurs and shit, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park. Jurassic, <laughs> Jurassic Park type shit. Jurassic Park. Damn. But, but do you think there's a danger with that? Yeah, of course, bro. You think, you think that's going to. That could be the end of us. Because look, look, look. What if certain things were that were supposed to happen, like uh, dinosaurs going extinct, were meant for humans to be the next, yeah, right? For, for, meant for us to like survive. So if we bring those creatures back, uh, my theory is that if we bring those creatures back, shit, it might be the end of human existence because whether it be like disease- I was about or, to say that. Or something that happens where these um these creatures take over and become the new top of the food chain. Because we're at the top right yeah. now. Because, like, yo, if you bring the animal back, like, you're also bringing back, like, the disease and shit that it carries, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you're bringing that back, too. Yeah. And it's going to change life. It's going to change life on Earth. For sure. Especially if it's exposed to everything else, right? Yeah. That's why, that's why when you go on airplanes and they say you can't bring, like, fruits and vegetables or you can't yeah, bring, yeah, like, yeah. plants and shit, that's because they don't want um cross-contamination. Yeah, because, like... You, like you don't want something that's not supposed to be in like another area. Yeah, because if you bring, let's say, like a, a plant from from Japan and then put it planted in in Canadian fields, yeah. it might f- up the whole environment. Cause yo, like like that's actually what happened like down here. Really, like, yo, yo, remember like back in the day, like there was like this next plant. I think it was like, what was it, like hogweed or something like that. Oh, I don't yo, know. You I don't remember know. that? What's what's hogweed? You remember hogweed back in the day? No, nah, what is? Oh my god, yo! I remember it used to get me. It used to get everybody so shook. Like back in the day. What is it? What is like, it? Like it was like this. It was like this plant. Yeah. But like like when and whenever you like you touch it, like it has like this like this white substance on it, and like it was like poisonous or some shit like oh, that. Oh shit! And it was like it was all over like the forest, like near like parks and all that stuff. That's right. I remember like as a kid, like I always used to, like go in the forest like with my friends and all that stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I remember yo. Anytime we see like a white substance, we always get so shook. Damn. We're like yo, it's hogweed. Damn, that's fucked. Cause even just stuff like um, what's it called? Uh, poison ivy. Yeah, poison ivy. It's hard to see it. It's hard to see it sometimes unless I, you know what you're looking know for. What it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it, it's supposedly like the three leaf thing. Yo, remember when we walked in? Um, we did the vlog. Yeah, the vlog. <laughs> 
So, so if you guys don't know, the people that watch the vlogs know what we're talking about. So we we hopped this fence, right? <laughs> and we wanted to explore because we were looking for geodes. And we came across this plant. Yeah. <laughs> like a bunch of plants, actually. A bunch of plants that really resembled hemp plants, a.k.a. marijuana plants, a.k.a. weed plants. <laughs> yo, I, yo I, I look back at it. I'm, I'm like 95% sure that's it. Bro, because um, I, I was reading some of the comments, right? Uh -huh. They're saying like, they have actual buds. Like if, if you look closely, yeah, you know the, the bud of the marijuana plant? Yeah. It was there, the flower part. Oh, that was it, like the purple part. Like the purple flower part. Yeah, yeah, not, not, it wasn't purple, but it was like the, it was, it was still growing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So you could really see it. Fam, we actually stumbled upon a weed farm, fam. <laughs> like by accident, like somebody was growing there. Yo, I, I was wondering like, like, or, or was, it, was it natural? Or do you, think, or, or, so. or do you think someone just put it there? I feel like people planted it there. Because like, like I don't even know where it's actually natural. Yeah. Oh no, I think it, it is natural in it some natural? like mountain areas. I think in India, it's oh, actually- Oh, it's not natural here? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. It might be actually, who knows? Because- That's yeah. interesting, <laughs> let, let, let me check. <laughs> no, cause that, can, can it grow here? Or no, cause cause it, it it snows here. But I mean during the summertime, yeah, I guess summer. it can. Because like yo, like I, I seen some stuff where like where people were like they'll just randomly find it in their backyard and they'd be like, Oh, I don't know where this came from. But also they can be capping. Yeah, they could be capping. <laughs> they, they could be, be capping. Okay, let's see. Do marijuana plants grow in Canada? Oh yeah, I guess some they of them do. do. Some of them do. So maybe, maybe it's it's natural. <laughs> but more times I think the ones we stumble upon, fam. Those ones are re like they're planted. The, the, those were suspicious, man. Those are suspicious. The place where they're planted too. Not nah, suspicious. Because we we jumped over the fence and it's kind of like a, a trail, but it's not a trail. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. It looks like someone walked there, but like, yeah. they, like they walk there secretly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like one of those. They walk there like twice. <laughs> twice. Yeah, like, they just to check up on it. They'll be like, oh, is it good? <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, bro, we should go back, fam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do when we go back? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know in Top Boy? Did you uh, watch the first season of the Top Boy? Uh, Top Boy? Yeah, of course. The OG, the OG one, right? <laughs> Lord, my food, fam. <laughs> it's my food, your stuff. <laughs> it's like it's like that kid that um he ended up growing all that all those marijuana oh, plants. Oh, we're talking about the first one. Oh, the, like the Summer House one, right? Yeah, Summer House. Summer yeah, house. yeah. Oh, oh no, the one of Ats. <laughs> no, it wasn't us. Oh, it wasn't us? It was somebody else. It was somebody else. Oh, I, forgot was who, I forgot who it was. Yeah, but anyways, he was like growing all the marijuana plants to, to help his mother or something. Uh, right? Yeah. We should do that. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Foglets? What is that? Never heard of Foglets, <laughs> Foglets before? So one of the head engineers at Google, yeah, right? He's a very like notable person. Like he's a very, very smart person. He has this theory that there's gonna end up becoming like a nanobot that can replicate molecules, like any mm. any single molecule. Any molecule. Yeah. And his theory states that eventually we're, we're gonna get there 100 mm -hmm. we're gonna be able to recreate a plant recreate this mic recreate your phone yeah through these nanobots and eventually be able to recreate the Dude. entire universe yeah yo because it's crazy because like like everything that you need to create something is like it's out in the universe yeah they're like damn you know, what, you know what's mind-blowing <laughs> it, it, it's, it's mind-blowing that to create the universe we need the universe and we have it. Like, bro. <laughs> so let's say in the future, they create these nanobots where you can replicate anything, bro. Human flesh, molecules on mo like super tiny molecules and mm -hmm. recreate them. We can theoretically create the entire universe, create you, you another world. Create anything. Create Yo, another world. The person world. who creates that, like, I think they're going to be the most powerful person in the world. Yeah. If you if you have that much power in your hands, mm -hmm. bro, you're going to run the whole world. Yeah, fam. And it's it, it's it's scary, it, right? It's scary to think about. It's scary to think about. So what if, what if I ask you, uh -huh. what if they're right now? Like, that's a real thing right now. Because look, 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 you ever heard that study where like, if, if you punch your hand through a wall or if you keep hitting your, your hand through a wall mm -hmm. by like a billion chance percentage your hand might go through the wall because the molecules are moving the right way no that's a real thing that's a real thing because you know how molecules or particles are always in motion oh yeah they're always in motion so if you do it at the right time the exact right time oh i'm gonna try that fam <laughs> but it's like a trillion in or something oh yeah something trillion like coincidence if you do get it on time but it's still possible like bro what was what, like if there's a device that can like time it so like you can like walk through walls and everything like, oh, oh shit. shit like there's something that you can like perfectly time it. Nah, that's crazy. That'd be so sick. That'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be so crazy. sick, bro. That's just like some um some X Men shit. Yeah, bro. like X Men. Like Vision. That's probably what he does. Like he probably just moves his molecules around. Damn. 
Like the, the, the fit the gaps of what he's going through. Damn, yo, if that's a real thing, imagine like how they use that in the military, bro. Bro, that's OP. Have you have you seen the um, bullets can just go right through you? Have you seen the the invisibility cloaks? Have you seen those? Oh, it's not like like just like the green screen ones. No, like no, where no, they, no, they no, just no. put like a green screen on, kind of like. No, it's not a it's not a green screen. It's like um, it's actual. It's kind of like a mirror, mm -hmm. but it reflects off. It reflects the light. Oh, f towards you. Yeah, or like no, forward. I, I think I think I saw that. And you, 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 yo, I swear, to, weren't they using that like in like military practices or something? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, bro, that's real, fam. That's, <laughs> yo, imagine we can make those on a large scale and mm -hmm. like put it over like huge shit to hide. Yo, like, like, ima imagine if you had like a whole like base and like you just put that whole Dog, cloak they, over the base. I bet they do that, fam. And, and, no, and no one just no one sees anything. I bet you there are some bases like that somewhere out in the is. world. Somewhere out in the world like that. Just even um, you know, you, you know, in Avengers, you know that big helicarrier and it was yeah. like invisible at the bottom. Yeah. There's got to be something like that, fam. Got to be. Yo, like, yeah. Like, because, like, yeah, if they were to get, like, a plane or something, mm -hmm. or, like, some, like, hovering object and put that at the bottom, that's so OP. Like, you would never know. What if what if the aliens use that already, bro? They probably do. <laughs> that already. That, that's why we never see the UFO. That's why we don't see that's UFOs as often, as often. <laughs> <laughs> what if they upgraded, bro? They, they got the new firmware or some shit. <laughs> You know they mean? upgraded it. Yo, they got the, the, the Kawhi Leonard's treatment, fam. <laughs> <laughs> the robot treatment. Yo, have, have you looked into... Um, okay, this one's crazy, and I, I hate going into this this topic because it's, it's usually bullshit. Yeah. But I, I, saw, I saw a TikTok recently of Flat Earth. Have you ever looked into that? Bro, I can't see it as real, man. Honestly, I, 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 I don't believe it. Because, like, I, like, I, I watch the videos, and, like, I try, I try to see, like, I try to reason and mm -hmm. see what they're saying. Yeah. But, like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't. It doesn't, right? But I saw this one thing, right? And they showed kind of, like, a map. Their quote-unquote um, theoretical map of a flat earth, right? Yeah. And you know the UN symbol? Mm -hmm. So, there's a theory that there is, like, a quote-unquote, like, flat earth. I'm not saying I believe in it. Yeah, yeah. But the UN symbol of the globe... Is the same map that flat that earthers like flat one. the flat earthers use? Yo, it's crazy because like there's so many there's so many like world power symbols mm -hmm. that always have like all these secret messages in it. Yeah, because um, you know the I think it's the the universal like health logo. Yeah, yeah, like the hospital logo it has a snake and a sword. I think. Yeah, I know what you're talking. I see that. Yo, I see that everywhere. Yeah, like especially in the states. So I think the Pope. The mm -hmm. Pope actually has one of those um, the sword. No, it's like that symbol, but it's on a staff. Mm -hmm. It's very odd. It's very odd. It's like that snake symbol with the sword in between, right? Yeah. And what's crazy, bro? It's it's even prominent in some like satanic and like symbols, symbolism, like for Illuminati and then like Freemasonry stuff like that. Yeah, yo, I remember, I remember in one of our episodes. Yeah. Like I remember, remember the Gmail one. The Gmail one, yeah, the, yeah, the Freemason yeah. logo. Yeah, the Freemason like on the Gmail, mm -hmm. bro. Like yo, shit like that. That just like amazes me. It's like it's in plain sight, bro. It's in plain sight, yo. Like I've been seeing like a lot of stuff like with the U.S. money. I'm mm. like hiding like secret images. <laughs> like, yo, yo did, did you see the one like with the dollar bill and it has like the alien on it? Oh yeah, I saw yeah, that yeah. one. I saw that it's, one. It's like yeah, when yeah. you like the, the saturation or something up. <laughs> like, it shows like, it shows what aliens actually look like. <laughs> it's it's jokes, but you can never you can never be sure if it's just. If it's just a coincidence uh, or like we're just fucking around or, or it's actually or it's real. On purpose. It's, yeah, or if it's on purpose. Just like um have you seen that new Netflix show? It's called uh, Inside Job. No, I haven't watched it yet. Bro, have you heard of it? No, I've heard. It's my first time hearing about so, it. So so it's it's pretty much like this girl, she works for the quote unquote the the elites. The elites. She works okay. for the elites. And she controls all the conspiracies. So like the um, you know the half reptilian people, yeah. like uh the robot president, like all of these conspiracies, she controls. She controls all of them. So in the show, they're showing that it is true, like in the in the fictional world, yeah, that they are real, and then she's just like controlling them, making sure like they don't go out of hand. Oh, so like like she's just like just like it's like she's the one who's releasing it, right? No, no, she's not releasing it. But she's making sure things don't go wrong. Oh, okay. She's like controlling it. She's controlling oh, like, it. Like right? making sure like it doesn't get too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's crazy, bro, what if that show mm -hmm. was made not to just joke around about it, but to actually drop subtle hints to us about these that things? That has actually happened. Yeah. That would be a sick job though. I can't <laughs> if, if I had that job, <laughs> I'd actually love to have that. Yeah, but bro, you might have to sell your soul to the devil or something. I know bro. that's the only thing. That's the only thing. But like, yo, like, imagine if they, they actually told you all the secrets. That'd be crazy, bro. And, and, like, and, you, and you can't tell anybody. It's so <laughs> sus because I saw this video of Obama, right? Mm -hmm. And then somebody asked him, like, "Oh, are are the aliens real?" Oh, I think I saw that one. And then you know, what Obama said, "Uh huh." He's like, "I'm not gonna tell you they're not." Or they are, like, but I'm gonna tell you if we had that conversation, it happened in this room. 
<laughs> that's so suspect, bro. That's so that's so, so suspect. suspect, bro. The way he worded it like the that, he, he didn't have to say it like that. Yeah, he, he could just said like, "Oh, I don't know." I think I think it was Jaden Smith that asked him. Jaden Smith, oh, Jaden asked, Smith that yeah. asked him. And then and then Obama said that he's like, "I'm not gonna tell you if it is or not." But it happened in this room. That conversation happened in this Yo, room. Yo, but like Jaden Smith alone, like he he's already on like the, the suspect list, man. Yeah, he is. He is. All, all of those celebrities, bro. I know. All of them. <laughs> I remember seeing this meme. It's like Jaden Smith talking to Kanye. Yo, so I was jumping through the fifth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> it's so jokes to think though. It's like if, if you're if you're that quote unquote the elite, uh, imagine what crazy stuff they know about they know. that we don't. Yo, they probably have like their own language too, fam. Probably, <laughs> probably there's Daddy some next secrets and shit. Yo, yo, yo you, see, you, you see like the latest picture of Kanye? Like how like he shaved off his eyebrows and everything? Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. It's weird. Bro, Kanye's, Kanye's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you think people do that for a reason? Because remember X did that? Yeah, no. It's Kanye, he's definitely doing it for a reason. Mm. But I don't know, but uh, Kanye, like he's also like, he does shit out of nowhere too. Yeah. Because you, you never, you can never tell if it's, if it's, uh, if it's on purpose or yeah. just like. Or, or is this like, like a sudden thing? Like, yeah, yeah. Like a sudden thing or even just a marketing plan, mm -hmm. you know, to get more attention. Because he's very, very good at that. Yo, he's probably one of the best at marketing as a rapper. Mm -hmm. Like for sure. Because, yo, he's saying like all these controversial stuff and he's still like getting sales, still getting all these views and all that stuff. Yeah. I think it's just a matter of time, bro. Till Do you think anybody can top that? Top what? Kanye? Yeah. Top, top like what's already been done. It's so crazy. Look, look, look. If you mm -hmm. think about it, right? The way marketing is moving, it's moving so quickly and it's so hard to top what happened before. Yeah. You think there's going to be a point where we can no longer top anything that's ever happened? I think I think we can. But like, I'll tell you, these men are going to have to like sell their soul to get to it. Yo. Okay. So I was watching this uh, this movie, right? Yeah. It's called it's called um, Ready or Not. Mm -hmm. right? And pretty much what happens in the movie, this girl, she marries this guy and to join the family, she has to take part in this like tradition that everybody ha everybody has to do in order to join the family. Yeah. So what she did, they said, okay, you have to take a card and whatever card you pick out, you have to play the game. And mm -hmm. if you win the game, you can join the family. So one of the cards there was the worst card you can pick. Yeah. And it was hide and seek. So they picked the card, right? Hide and seek. And what she had to do, she had to hide in the house away from all of the family members as they hunt her. Oh, with guns, <laughs> bow and arrows, crossbows, whatever. And, and like they actually like try to kill her. And they try and kill her. And listen, listen. The... So supposedly the reason they do this is because they made a deal with the devil. Uh-huh. Because this family was supposedly very, very rich. And they made all of their riches off of games. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why part of the ritual was playing a game to join the family. Because they made they made all their riches off of games. That's how right? they made it off. Their belief was if they don't do that, quote unquote, the ritual, then they would die. They would die themselves because uh -huh. they broke the deal with the devil. So the reason they're so rich is because they made that pact. So if they broke that pact, and they would just die. They off. would all die off. Yo, that's so messed up. Like they up, get cursed. Man. They get cursed. That's so. Well, I, I don't know why. Like I, I love watching shows like that. Like I, I love watching like those death games type shows. Mm. But it's I don't know if you, if you heard about like, but like they actually had like a death game island in real life. No. It happened like it happened in Russia. It was like 1930s or something like that. Word. And like basically what they did, like they took a whole bunch of like Russian like prisoners and just like random people like on the street, like old people, women, what children, the fuck? and they put them all on this one island. Yeah, that's uh, like battle royale. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like they, they put them all on this one island, and if you try to escape the island, then like you automatically get killed. Damn. So they left them there, and they basically just like left them to survive from themselves. Yeah. And the only thing that they gave them was bags of flour. What the fuck? And like they're saying, like they got to the point where like people were getting so hungry, like they were killing each other for the bags of flour. Damn! And like they're like eating each other. The island was known as like a cannibal island. Holy shit! And like it was, it was basically just for entertainment for like the guards, so like they can like see. Wow! And then they were just watching them. Just yeah, they're, like they're a game. just watching them. That's crazy, bro. Because it's not too hard to believe, like especially with Squid Game coming out yeah. and all of these other battle royale type of type of game survival games even fortnite fam in a yeah. sense fortnite is a is a survival game like that yeah it is dog it wouldn't be too hard to believe that they ran those before <laughs> yo they're probably still doing it right now bro yeah, <laughs> it's, it's possible you never know what if what if squid game uh-huh was was trying to get our attention to inform us oh, about games like happening like, like this i'm telling you <laughs> what if there are games happening like that and that show's trying to like 
wake us up and tell us like this shit happening. They're probably this shit is, is happening. Cause yo, yo, do you know what I also think? Like, I think like all these like dangerous places in the earth are like, they tell us like, oh, like don't go, like don't go there. Mm. Like places like the Amazon rainforest, like the middle of the Amazon rainforest. Yeah. Like people are always like, like told not to go there. What if they're just like telling them that? Because like that's where they're like holding all these like games. oh holding the games damn who knows bro that's what I'm saying go going back to like the the flat Earth thing yeah I saw this picture of a map right they're show they're showing like the flat Earth map and you know how they say Antarctica is like the edge of the world right yeah so you have like all of the continents here and then Antarctica circles around I'm gonna put a picture up on screen but they showed like an entrance where the water you can pass through so after you can pass through it. There's other continents on the outside. So imagine wait, what? <laughs> so imagine okay, I'm wait, 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 like other continents that we don't have? Other continents are not not part of this. Oh not, so part, not past part of Antarctica. Now I'm gonna show you the picture. I'll show you the picture. Check this out. And also all of the ancients already knew what it was. And now they want to change things around. And tell me why. The United Nations map. Look, that's the UN logo. Mm -hmm. As this here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look, look. So you see, you Yo. see how you see how our world is here. Yeah, yeah. And then Antarctica could be the like, the, like the border around the border it around of. it. And then Admiral Byrd, remember Admiral Byrd? Uh -huh. He was like the one that exposed the Hollow Earth. So there's an opening there that he may have flew through, Bro, that and there's other like continents around it on the outside. That's. <laughs> That's, that's crazy. so crazy to think that's about. So crazy, man. Yo, if all that was real, that would be such a cool discovery, man. That would be the, so the figure insane. Out, like, there's a whole like another Earth. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, imagine the people like on that side because like there'll probably be like a whole another race of humans on that. Yeah. Oh, yo, what if it's just like the aliens, bro? What that's if? What if all of this? This is just like um, it's like a zoo. It's like a yeah. zoo. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like they're just watching us. They're just watching us. Because yo, yo, I'm like, or like, what if like. Our world leaders and all that stuff are like people who came from that land. Maybe. Like, like the land above us. Maybe. But I feel like, okay, let's say you're doing an experiment, uh, experiment on humans. You would want to just see how like they flourish or what they come up with, right? You yeah. wouldn't want to do too much interference, mm -hmm. right? So maybe that's why everything's so secretive. And maybe, maybe. The, maybe the elites here themselves don't really know too much about it either. Yeah, probably. They're left in the dark almost as much as us. Like, you remember in, in Promised Neverland where they saw the big ass I, wall? I was just about to say that. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Where they saw that big ass wall and they couldn't pass through it, mm -hmm. but they had no idea why they're trapped there, mm -hmm. right? Like, what if, it, if that's the same thing for us? Yeah, what is it? We don't know why we can't pass. We don't know why. We're, like, what's the what's the purpose of being here? Right? Yeah. Like, we don't know the truth of it. So it's like, like, like we kind of accept that like we're supposed to be here. Yeah, that's far. That's crazy. <laughs> you ever heard of the term solipsism? No, nah, what is that? <laughs> Solipsism. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. So there's this theory, right? And I feel like it's a common feeling a lot of people get is that your consciousness is the only thing that exists. Mm -hmm. So you being conscious, right? You have no idea if I'm conscious or not because yeah. you can only feel your own. Yeah. So this theory states that everything you feel is all that exists. Everything else doesn't matter. It's just you. Other people don't have their own feelings. Other people, it's almost as if like you're a main character in a video game. Everything else is bots. Yeah. So do you think that could be real? That's a deep one. There's that's literally one. there's literally no evidence to prove it wrong. That's because like, yo, there, there's no evidence I can have that you have like your conscious. Like that exactly. your conscious is actually a real thing. Exactly. Because like, well, like, what if I'm like creating what you're saying, mm -hmm. but like in my mind? Yeah. So if that makes any sense. In a sense, it's like a, simu a simulation of I'm, I'm a bot and I just create expressions, whatever. Yeah. But you have no idea if I'm a true, like, conscious. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It's, no, but it's real, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, because I, I was thinking about the same thing. Like, uh, something similar. It, it was kind of like what you guys said in, like, in, uh, in Epson's episode. Yeah, yeah. About, like, how, like, we see the color. Mm -hmm. I'm like, because, like, I like I would see like th like a table over here as black. Yeah. But what if like if you just see it like a, as a different color, like you see it as orange, mm. or some shit like that. And then going back to what we said about history, right? Uh huh. What if we just agree on certain things, and that's what history becomes? But it's not really what happened. Maybe. That, maybe. Right. So let's say let's say we see um we see like a tornado happen, right? Yeah. But back in the day, they thought that shit was the gods. Mm -hmm. Feel me? They thought that shit was Zeus or like the thunderstorms, right? Yeah. But time goes by and then we realize, oh, it's like natural disasters yeah. events, right? What if some crazier shit happen? Like, who knows? Miracles that happen 
and it could could have been like extraterrestrials that done yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, the thing, like the thing that's so crazy about it is like we can't even prove it wrong. We can't prove nothing wrong. We can't bro. prove it wrong. That's a thing. Like we can't prove it wrong and we can't prove it right. Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So, for example, you know those. I don't want to say crazy people because that's not that's not a good term. Yeah, but yeah. like those people that the, like that, that think different kind of. No, those people that that create their own reality in their head. Let's mm-hmm. say they're in the corner and then they create a whole reality in their head. Uh-huh. Who's to say we're not doing that right now? Bro, I, I feel like that's really, I feel like with your mind, you can literally do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Like whatever you imagine could actually just be real. Like to your mind. What you if, want to think about it. What if, look, look, what if everything I see is uh-huh. completely different from what you that, see? That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because even though, even though we see like similar shapes, but it will look like something completely different because it's through my eyes, not yours. And the crazy thing is like, I, I could never see what you see. Yeah. And you can never see what I see. Yeah, yo, that's so that's so like, real like, though. Like never, like it can never happen. That's very real. Because even just looking at a painting, you know those um those ink blots? Yeah. And then uh, it, it's almost, I forgot what it's called. I think it's for mental mental illness actually, where they show the ink blots. Oh yeah, and like pe- people see different things in it, right? Yeah, they see different things in it. Yeah, and through those images, they they come up with crazy stories or like characters that come out from it. What if we already do that in life right now? So in a sense, mm. like there's things that are real, but we try and create our own take on it. Oh yeah, yeah. Like so we let's have say like our own vision. Of so it. we we perceive a person to be something else, even though they're not. But just because of how it's presented to us, that's what it feels like in our head. So let's say it's just like simulation, bro. Uh-huh. Let's say let's say there's a there's a celebrity, right? And yeah. he portrays this image. He portrays this image that he's a gangster or whatever. Everybody everybody that watches him is gonna think he's a gangster. Yeah. Maybe behind closed doors, he becomes like a completely different character. But we don't see that side. We just see the side that's presented. Yeah, to that's us. presented to us. That's <laughs> Yo, yo, do you know what reminds me of? Yeah. <laughs> yo, that reminds me of like, like, like Phineas and Ferb. Why like, Phineas yo, and yo, Ferb? Like, you know, like, like how like they see like Perry the Platypus? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, no, but, he's, but he's really like the secret agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yo, but when I was younger, I used to get that same feeling about like animals I see. Like whenever I see like a squirrel or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I'm always like, whenever I turn my head and not and not look at it, I always think like it's like dancing behind me or something. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> or I think it's like standing up straight or something. That's some Dr. Doodle. Like, <laughs> even, yo, going to like ghosts and shit. That, uh-huh. could, that could be the same thing. Yeah, because yo, some people will actually like, they see ghosts. Yeah, they see like they, ghosts, right? Uh, yeah, like they, they see their own ghosts in a way, like but well, like somebody else might not. Yeah, yeah. I heard this thing, right? Every everything we see is in two D, right? Mm-hmm. It's not. It's it's not. Wait, what? Everything we see mm-hmm. is in two D. Do you get that? So this is it's three D, but we only see yeah, it in two D. Okay, okay. I, I see. Yeah, what you're I mean, saying. we only see three D through the through lighting, whatever. Mm-hmm. But true three D, we don't really see that. Yeah. Okay, I know. You I know what you mean though. Like a picture. Yeah. You draw a picture, I only I only see this side of it. Yeah. Like I can't see behind you. Yeah. You get true. me? So there's this theory saying that imagine there's a 2D creature. Oh, what the a yeah, 2D the creature. Point? And let's say a 2D creature is a cell. Yeah. Or like an organism that we can't see unless we look through a microscope, right? Yeah. Let's say they're like a cell, a 2D creature. So if that means we're a 3D creature, mm-hmm. that we can see we can see things from 2D, they can only see 1D. Imagine a 4D creature that can see not only Bro. forward, <laughs> behind you, left and right. Something that can see almost like you're playing GTA. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't see them, right? Because look, look, if 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 the 2D creature, if the 2D creature uh-huh. can't see 3D creatures, that means oh, the 3D creatures I know, I know can't see 4D see. creatures. <laughs> Yo, that's insane, bro. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, cause there'll be no way of us seeing that 4D character. Yeah, exactly. That, that 4D creature. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Bro, what if they're like right here, right now? Yeah, yeah you, we can't. It's like but, spectate mode. Bro, that's... <laughs> you know you know, in COD when you're spectating? Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Damn, that actually blew my mind. It truly is. If there is another dimension, if there is another, another dimension beyond the 3D, that's it would be a 4D, is. and the 4D, we wouldn't be able to see it. What the... And what if that is the spirit world, bro? That's... <laughs> What if that's the spirit world? That's that's where we ascend to, quote unquote, or uh-huh. that's where the ghosts are. Yo, Who knows? You're, you're actually snapping right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're actually snapping right now. You're actually blowing my mind right now. You're it's actually crazy, blowing my right? mind right now. Okay, I want to I want to show you a video, fam. Okay, I want to show you a video because I feel like a lot of times people don't believe in ghosts until they see kind of proof. Mm-hmm. You no, know? they see some proof. Yeah, they see some proof. So I just want to show Wait, you. This but video. like, if, if ghosts are a four D, then like. 
how are we able to see them sometimes? Maybe we see them through a reaction of what they do. Mm, maybe. So rather rather than we see it physically, yeah. we just see the, the outcome of their action. Okay, I see. Right? Yeah, yeah. So look, I, w- I want to show you this. Check this out, bro. So this is this is an office space in um I think it's in Manchester. This is real footage, uh-huh. real footage of CCTV. They even posted this on the news, bro. They posted this on the news. That's how real this is. Look, nobody's there. Mm-hmm. It's just the security camera footage. You see that? <laughs> you see that? No, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Bro, okay. I'm how good. how are those things possible? How does that shit happen in real life? Bro? I'm good. That's that's not <laughs> that's not possible. <laughs> Yo, that, that's not possible in our dimension. It's not. But it is in 4D. It is in 4D. That's so what if what if we only shit. see like the movement? Because that's what that's that's all the, the, we the, can that's see. what they cause. Like that's the that's what, that's what their action caused. Yeah. And that's why we see that in 3D in yeah. our in our view. Cause because think about it, from from the beginning of the beginning of ghost stories in general, yeah. it's always like they're invisible. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're always invisible. Bro. So what if we only see the reaction like shit moves? Man. We can't see <laughs> them itself. I, I wish I had 40 eyes. <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> but bro, what if what if we, we create a technology where we can see onto that <laughs> that dimension, right? Yeah. And what if that dimension is fucking like virtual reality in a sense of where it's like a spectator that yo that, that, that's what <laughs> vr is bro what what if what if we're in vr and then the ghosts are the spectators and shit bro <laughs> <laughs> no like I, as, as dumb as that shit sounds it honestly it makes sense though it makes sense you know what i mean as dumb as that shit sounds it makes sense <laughs> The ghosts are playing VR. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. I say life is a game. Mm-hmm. That's just what life is. Yeah. Right? We don't know the rules. So what if that's just an, an option? <laughs> you get me? <laughs> Yo, it's kind of like you're adding like cheat codes to the game or something. Yeah. <laughs> what if that's like an option? So what What if we do live in a simulation, but that's what life is already? Like, that's what life is. Yeah. That, like, that is what it is. It, it's, it's not a simulation. It's just life, right? Uh-huh. And then that's just what happens in life. Like, there's so many mysteries we won't solve. And maybe that's just what happens just like if you think about the world Mm -hmm. what is the purpose of our brain that's a good question man. what's the purpose of our brain right it's to control our body body, yeah to eat food get resources right yeah if you think about it when you starve to death what happens your brain basically starts to shut down it shuts down because what because your heart shuts down yeah because why because your heart is using its last resources to give to your brain yeah everything comes back to the brain Mm -hmm. you think about it when you starve to death it's taking the nutrients trying to keep the brain alive running the brain alive it's very very interesting because what if you can take a brain put it in quote unquote like a jar and make it receive impulses and think it's just like in a simulation Mm -hmm. and it'll still function think it's seeing things that it's not right it's just manipulating the nervous system because if our body is just a nervous system in a in a flesh cell or a flesh like vessel. Yeah. Right? It can be transferred over into something else and it could be manipulated just through its wiring, no? Yeah, yeah. Cause you think about like there's a lot of like rich, like rich like really rich wealthy people mm-hmm. who have like their fucking like their brain like frozen. Yeah. And it's being kept. Yo, so like like do you think like they're doing that because they think there's a way that they can restore it like later on. Damn, maybe. Just like Walt Disney. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's what I was about Walt to bring Disney. up. It could be true. It could be true. As, as long as they have that there and they know in the future, like, okay, this is going to be possible. Yo, so like, imagine if they actually did that of like people like way in the past and like they just have like a whole collection of brains. That'd be crazy. Of like people all in the past. Like, like Alexander the Great. Yeah, like, like all, all these people. people. And Genghis Khan. Yeah. Holy like, shit. Imagine they did that and they just, they just brought it back one day. That'd be insane, man. That'd be crazy. That'd be insane. Going back to like the simulation talk. Mm-hmm. You, you ever heard that theory how the reason you never see your neighbors bring in groceries? <laughs> you ever heard that theory? <laughs> <laughs> no, Dennis, I'm serious. <laughs> Have you ever seen your neighbors bringing groceries? I never see my neighbors bringing <laughs> groceries, bro. <laughs> so take this in. So there's a theory that the reason you never see your neighbors bringing groceries yeah. is because it is a simulation. And that's not something that appeals to you that you want to see. <laughs> you get me? It's not something that you're you're looking forward 
to seeing. You know what I mean, right. but everything else is. So there's a theory: the people that do see their neighbors bringing groceries mm. is that they've interacted with the quote unquote the bots. Oh, so let's say let's say um you're playing a game. Yeah, yeah, and then you interact with the character. Once you interact with that character, they become a they, they become part of your story. Yeah, yeah, like they start talking and all that. Yeah, like, they become part of your game, your yeah. quote unquote your life, right? So that the only time you'll ever see your neighbors bringing groceries <laughs> is if you interact with them to that point. That's and then actually, they, they become part of that. They, they become, become part, part of the story. Become part of the story. That's crazy because I I never seen Red put in groceries. <laughs> <laughs> It's real shit, bro. I, I've never seen that. I don't think anybody ever seen me putting groceries. Yeah, facts, <laughs> facts, facts. But it, it, just like it's kind of just like when you when you notice somebody, somebody mm -hmm. random, and then you you just see them all the time. You yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's just it's just like the KFC guy. The KFC. <laughs> oh my god! For people who don't know, <laughs> bro. So so in our era where we live, it's almost as if. Like he's a he's a real NPC. Yo, he he he's the goat. <laughs> yeah, he's the goat. <laughs> so there's this guy that looks like Colonel Sanders from KFC that rides his bike, and <laughs> everybody in our area has seen him riding his bike. It's almost like everybody. He's just like a I don't know an NPC fam. Like you'll just see him. Uh huh. He just comes around. No, it's crazy because like yeah, like every time I every time I look out my window. Like I always the, I always see like a, a character. Yeah, I always a, see a character. Yeah. Like whatever it is, KFC guy. Or like I'll see like someone I know walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but it's literally every time I, I look outside. And uh, there's there's another theory that you know how whenever you see a colored car, yeah, it could be a red car, yellow car, whatever. So if you ever see, if you're ever looking at traffic and yeah. you see, let's say, a blue car, you'll be able to see more blue cars. Oh, in parking lots as you keep driving, if you notice it. Not so yet. I I heard I heard something like that. Like I heard something like that, but like when it comes to like opportunities. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, is there someone who like really wants to make money? Mm -hmm. It's like, like when they want it that bad, like they see whenever there's an opportunity to make money, they always start seeing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's something like that. It's almost as if like when you push your mindset to that, uh -huh. and you waking up that I guess the sight of it. Yeah, you start to see it everywhere. You start to see it everywhere. That's true. You start to see it everywhere, and I think that's truth in especially like motivation. Mm -hmm. So look, look, look. When I was working out, right, I did this test. Yeah. And I told myself, man, I can only do like six pull-ups. I told myself only six pull-ups. Yeah. But I knew I could do like, I could do you, like you, 12. You do more. Yeah. But I was feeling tired that day. I'm like, oh, no, I'm only going to do six. Yeah. And when I said that to myself, I pulled up to five. I pulled up to six. I could barely got, do it. Mm -hmm. I could barely do the six. But I took a break and I'm like, ain't no way. That was literally, that was just my, that, my that mindset. That was all in your head. So I did it again, but I told myself. I could do 50. And you did 50? No, I didn't do 50, oh. but I was able to do more. <laughs> I was able to do more. Do more. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I, for me, like, I 100% I, I believe in that, man. I 100%. Because it's all in the mind. Because, like, yo, like, if you're going to limit to yourself, like, if you're going to put a limit on yourself like that, like, you're probably just going to hit that limit. Like, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yo, 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 there's this crazy story that happened. I think it was in Germany mm -hmm. where this guy, he was hired to fix uh, a refrigerator on a train. Yeah. Right? It was like, no, it was a freezer. Mm -hmm. So he ended up getting <clears throat> locked in the freezer, right? And, He's like, shit, I'm trapped in here. Nobody else is coming to save me. I'm going to die here. So he took out his notes and he started writing. These are my final moments. Yeah. I'm going to die in this freezer. Shit, it's getting cold. Blah, blah, blah. He's writing. I, I missed out on all these things in life. Man, it's getting colder. I can feel myself slipping away. Yeah. And he died. Yeah. But what happened was the, the guards ended up opening up the freezer, mm -hmm. seeing his dead body. But they realized, yo, this freezer's not working. It's not even cold in here. Whoa, really? So he thought himself to death. Damn, bro. Because that was the reason he was going there to fix it anyways in the first yeah, place. Yeah, so see, it, what, how are you going to fix the freezer if it's running? Yeah. So it was just all in his was, head. That's crazy, so bro. He, he thought he thought of dying so badly, he ended up he dying. He ended up actually dying. That's how powerful the mind is. Damn. It's crazy because, yo, that, that could have worked in the opposite way. Yeah, I think that's how people, you know, you know how when people say they get shot, but they can still move mm -hmm. when you had that, that mindset that you can do anything. Yeah, that's probably why that's probably oh, damn. Like, that's that's kind of sad, though, because there's even there's even stories of um people, people trying to save their loved ones under like a heavy car. Yeah. Right. And they get the strength to, to move the car. Move but they would never be physically pot physically able to do it. But it was just because of the adrenaline and their mind at the time. It told them they were strong enough to do it. Cause like yo, like honestly, like you just have to, you have to speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. Like even if you think it's impossible, like just just 
imagine you doing it. Yeah. I remember they, they used to do this with like karate, like karate kids. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know how like they have uh, like the, the plank of wood? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like they have to punch through it. Yeah. Like oh, it's always like the kid that was, that was always like, oh man, I can't, I can't see myself punching through it. They never punch through it. Mm. So like he said, like imagine yourself like actually like going through it. And he did it on the first try. It went straight through. Yeah, because that's what it takes. Like, that's what it takes. And yo, it happens to me, like, cause like I, I break, mm-hmm. like I, I like dance and shit. So like whenever I, I, whenever I imagine myself hitting the move in my head, yeah, I hit it like eight out of ten times. Mm-hmm. But like if I if I don't do that, like I'll probably hit it like once. Word. Because if, if you if you don't visually see it or manifest yeah. it in your own head, it won't be possible. It won't be you. possible. That makes a lot of sense, though. It actually is it's powerful. It actually works. And I feel like that's with everything, whether it be like a test, whether yeah. it's just your own self-confidence in, in believing that you can do it first. Yeah. Like you need that first before anything. Like if you if you jump into any sport, if you think that you can't do this sport, then you fuck, you're going to do really bad. Exactly, in it. bro. Because you're, you're like, like, look at Kobe. Like whenever Kobe shoots, he never thinks he's going to miss. Yeah. Like he, yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. Like, like, this is going in. Exactly. And it, he manifests it and becomes true. And I'm saying like he, he never sees himself missing a shot, no matter how crazy the shot is. Mm-hmm. And I think that's important, bro, because a lot of people, they don't see that or they don't get a chance to, to move towards that mindset. Yeah. You get me? Because it's so it's so easy to be trapped into that, that thinking of, man, I can't do it. That's what I'm saying. Or like, I'm going to lose. I can't yeah. do it. I'm not good enough to do this. Yeah. But why man why why do you think people get trapped in that because uh, that, that's tough because like i don't know is it is it, it is it more of a self-confidence thing or an environmental thing i th- I think it's environmental for sure mm-hmm. because like well, like if you're growing up in a rough environment and you're always told like oh you can't do this you can't do that mm-hmm. like that's all you're gonna think about yeah like all the time that's that's just gonna carry on with you like through your life mm-hmm. and then that's just how you're gonna be if that's the way you're gonna think about yeah i think that's very true because even if you think about it like from a country standpoint, mm-hmm. a lot of successful people come through the same cities. Yeah. You know get I me? Mean? Look at California, for example. Like a lot of successful people come out of there. Yeah. And a lot of quote unquote influencers come out of there because that's like the influencer breeding ground. So if you're around those people, mm-hmm. you're more than likely to take on those tendencies. Yeah. And I guess that vibration brings you up. Yeah, like that's how I, I, like I'm a, I'm a big preacher of like always supporting like your friends. Like whenever they like they're trying to start something, mm-hmm. like always like show them some love. Like always like support them. Like even if you think that their goal is crazy, yeah. Like bro, like just just give them that time of day. Yeah, it's because, true. Yo, like if you think about it, like yo, like like when you're making like just podcasts and like mm-hmm. everything, like I'm I'm pretty sure like you probably thought like like this was like a crazy thing. And now, now, now look at it. Like, it's like your full I know, time. I know. But see, the, the thing is, when I started it, I believed 100%. You believe 100%. And always. I know a lot of people didn't. Uh-huh. I know a lot of people didn't. That's fine. Yeah. But as long as you have your own vision for it. Like, like you're going to hit it. Yeah, you're going to hit it. Just like going to back what we were saying, imagine everything. Yo, low-key, having that, having that, um, that mindset of my consciousness is the only consciousness. It yeah. is it is fucking like bad in a sense where you don't care about other people, but it gives you that that confidence to where like I can do everything. That is or true. it all matters to this, right? That is true. Just like if you live your life as if you're the main character in the movie, then like you're gonna be that main then, guy. Yeah, then that movie will be that. You get me? It's kinda like you like you have to create your own movie. You do. Like it's 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 a, it's a, it's a other people creating your movie for you. Like you just gotta create yourself. Yeah. Like if you want this event to happen in the movie, you will make it happen. Mm-hmm. And I think it re- it really depends on your personality too. Like whatever you want life to be, it will mm-hmm. be that, but your personality will make it that. You get me? Yeah. So a lot of people, they don't have huge aspirations and they accomplish exactly what they wanted to accomplish, even if it wasn't extravagant. You get yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which is amazing too, because imagine those people that live, let's say on the islands and all they want is just like, let's say they want to, they want to surf all day. Yeah. And they just want to teach people how to surf. For example, that's a, something like that. Yeah, that, that's, that's a, a dream. That's a dream that's met, right? Yeah. If you accomplish it. No, nah, that is true. Even though if it wasn't so extravagant or whatever. But like that's still their, their dream. That's still that what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Like it's it's up to you. Like it's your life. Create your own movie. Yeah, bro. And man, it, it's crazy because I feel like if I keep manifesting aliens, aliens will be They're going to come <laughs> They're going to come down there. They're going to start saying your name. You get me? <laughs> oh my Carlos. God. Because... <laughs> I heard this thing, right? I heard this thing. You know how faith is so powerful, right? Uh, faith is so powerful. And if you put enough faith into something, especially with a lot of people behind with the same faith, it'll be real. Yeah. Right? 
So what if the more faith worldwide people have in something, it becomes real and that's how God became real. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right? No, that's true. That that No, that's exactly how it happened though. Because the faith. That's exactly how it happened. Because of faith. That's what I'm saying. Because like, it, it couldn't just been a real thing with like only like two people believing it yeah even just like miracles happening it took everybody's faith for the miracle to, to happen. happen and the same thing could happen with the aliens bro yeah what if <laughs> yo, well, mo most people believe they're real fam. That, that's yo for real because it almost feels like anytime something becomes trending mm -hmm. we see more of it and we see like a wave come out of it because yeah. more people believe in it yeah. you get me like with the first youtuber to create a lot of money from youtube everybody's like no way you can make money off YouTube. Then we see more and more Everyone's of it and becomes a wave because there's more faith in it from other people, right? Uh -huh. So what if it's the same with aliens where we have faith, okay, one day something's gonna come down and because our faith is so powerful, they start coming down. It becomes true. <laughs> Yo, I, I wait. I can't wait for the day aliens come down. <laughs> <laughs> I low-key can't wait, bro. I can't wait. I actually can't <laughs> I'm wait. I'm gonna have a blast. <laughs> Yo, yo, you ever heard the, the Mr. Bean theory? Nah. All right, <laughs> <laughs> listen, why, listen. Why, why was it Mr. Bean? <laughs> you know what Mr. Bean's about, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's he's kind of like a guy that does quirky stuff, and he, he takes, like, a normal life and does, like, weird stuff with it, right? Yeah. So there's a theory that Mr. Bean is actually an alien. How? And the reason why he reacts with everyday things the way he does is because he's an alien and he's learning about human life. Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know he how to use react shit. to it. Yeah. <laughs> so look, look. No, uh, but but listen, listen. In the beginning or the end of Mr. Bean. Yeah. What happens? He gets dropped from the sky. Oh. You remember? <laughs> that with the light, with yeah, the light, yeah, yeah, with and the he gets dropped onto the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we first saw that, we just like passed off, like, oh, what is that? that right? Like, <laughs> but if you think about it, that means he's an alien, bro. He got dropped <laughs> off here. And the reason he's reacting with all these different things weirdly is because he doesn't, he actually doesn't know what these things are. He doesn't know. Because he's an alien. Oh my God. <laughs> Right? It actually makes sense. It actually makes sense. It actually makes sense. This guy's playing with like toast and he's like, <laughs> like, yo, yo, no, no normal person is going to be playing a toast like that. Yeah. Like he, he's playing with like a teacup. Like <laughs> it's just a cup, bro. Like, that's some alien action, bro. <laughs> it is an alien action, man. And what if, oh, there's more to this? What if man's like Mark Zuckerberg? The reason why they're so weird is because and Kanye <laughs> too. Oh, and Kanye Kanye too. too. So what? If, okay, what if they made that show uh, to try and show us, yo, maybe, yo, yo, maybe this the, is us. Maybe, maybe the weird people are these aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh the Mister Bean one. Uh, who else is an alien? I'm pretty sure Lil Uzi's alien? alien. Lil Uzi's oh, an oh, alien. Oh, come on, yo, the, the, the diamond on the thing, the diamond on his forehead. <laughs> Lil Uzi's an alien. That's a big man. sign right there. Bill Gates is probably alien. Bill Gates. He's just a low key alien. Oh, the, yo, uh, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Oh man, he, he's an alien. What if Tupac was an alien? Tupac? But, Tupac but I don't know, like, like Tupac, he doesn't do anything like out of the ordinary like that to, to, to be an like, alien. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of conspiracies about Tupac. You, you ever heard the conspiracy how Tupac's still alive? Oh, is this the Playboy Cardi one? No, not even that. Oh. <laughs> like, like for a long for a long time, people think Tupac faked his death. Oh no, no, no! I, yeah, yeah. I, I think I know some of that. Do you know why though? Nah. So you ever heard of you know how Tupac used to call himself Machiavelli? Yeah. Do you know who Machiavelli was? Who's who's that? So Machiavelli, he was a famous artist, but he was famous for faking his own death. Oh, what the? He was famous for faking his own death, Machiavelli. Macha. And, the, and that's what they call and, Tupac. And Tupac, he was obsessed with the idea of Machiavelli and his studies and his work. So it wouldn't be too far-fetched mm -hmm. to copy his same staging of death. But the only thing, like, like what, would be, what would be the benefit of doing that, though? Who knows? Because, like, yo, at that time, like, Tupac, like, he was on top of the world. Like, I, I, and compared to, like, the rap game, yeah. like, like he, he was the guy. Yeah. Yo, even Suge Knight thinks he's alive, though. Suge Knight? Yeah. Nah, Shug he, Shug Knight's different. Shug Knight, <laughs> he's different. Shug, Shug Knight thinks he's alive. He's like, oh, Tupac's in Cuba. <laughs> I heard about the Cuba one. The Tupac in Cuba. What if, bro? What if? <laughs> Cuban Tupac. But it, it it's it's almost like you got to let that, you got to let that end. You know what I mean? Those conspiracies about people dying. Yeah, like yeah. even the Juice World one. Yeah, yeah. They did the same thing about Juice World and X too. It's, it's like... I guess it's fun to think about, but damn. Yeah, like you gotta let it be. At, at some point, yeah, you gotta let it be. Like, like I remember, like I remember them saying with, with the X one. Mm -hmm. They're saying like, like the picture that they took of oh, like shit, him in the car. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what they're saying about the X one. The picture that they they took of him in the car. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he was like missing tattoos or something like that. Where like in the picture? 
Damn. That's like um that's like the Fetty Wap one. How how they say like Fetty, Fetty Wap has his eye switch sometimes. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I never heard about that. You never one. heard about that nah. one? There, there's this whole conspiracy even with like um I think Post Malone, he he visited like this haunted place yeah. in America and it was a very cursed object that he touched. And Post every, Malone? Post Malone. Yeah. So he did that. And all these bad things that happened to him. I'm pretty sure like his house got robbed. Oh, I'm pretty sure he got into an accident or something. Yeah. And all these other bad things that happened to him, maybe because he touched that cursed touched object. That object. Mm-hmm. I, yo, I, I believe in that that cursed object. You think there's some real cursed objects? I think there is. I think there is. Because I remember I, I had this doll in my house. A doll in your house? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like this is doll that like my mom got from like St. Lucia. Like it was years ago. Like I, yeah. think, it, I think it might be older than me maybe. Word. But like I remember... I remember it, it, like, it had this dress on it. It had like a whole bunch of fruits. And I remember every time I'll pick a fruit off the dress. Yeah. Like some next, like some next shit will happen to me. Like I'll like Word. fall off my bike and get like a scratch or something. No way. And after, no, the crazy thing is like I got to a point where like I picked like almost all the fruits off and there's like two. <sighs> and then all of a sudden they, they reappeared. No. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. I, I, Yo, I'm dead. I have it. I have it. I have the doll. Right, I, it's still in my house, bro. That's some I, real like voodoo. I, I still, I, I still have it in the house. And the what thing, the fuck? yo, it would change locations in the house too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you ever ask your mom what it's for? Never. I, I don't think I want to. What if she knows something about it? I, like, I don't think I want to know. Real, there's some <laughs> real purpose for that doll. I don't, I don't think I want to know, man. Damn. I, I, I feel like if I know, like. It's gonna it's gonna cheese off the spirits. Word. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, like there's something about like objects from like those developing countries that just like increase the spiritual power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I feel like in the rural areas or like the poor countries, like they have like their their, their spirit their spiritual powers is on another level. Mm-hmm. Like a place like ours. Cause like whenever you hear all these haunted stories, they're always in places like that. You know why? Cause I think it's it's very entertained there. That's why. Mm, maybe. I mean they, they feed into it a lot. But yeah, here it's almost like they don't really care. Yeah, yeah. Like we don't feed into it at all. They don't feed into it. So there's no power. Going back to faith. Yeah. They don't put the faith into it and oh, then that's nothing true. happens with it. Right? No, nah, that makes sense. Maybe that's how it happens, right? Maybe that's how it happens. Damn. Just like that that um the story of, of Jesus and one of the disciples that walk, tried to walk on water with him, right? Yeah, yeah. So Jesus was like, Come come here, you can walk on water like me. Yeah. And he said, as long as you have faith at the size of a mustard seed, right? Yeah. So he started walking and he was walking on water. But the moment he started losing faith is when he started, he started sinking. Drowning. He started sinking. Damn. But it, I feel like that's so true because the moment you do lose faith is when you things to, go into shambles, you know? That's very true. Like it loses its power in a sense. Yeah. It's kind of like, for, for me, like I, I kind of see like like in like sports or something. Mm-hmm. Even in sports, yeah. But like, like when you get to that point where he's like, oh, I think I might lose the game. Yeah, like, then that's when you start choking. Yeah, that's it. That's that's when you, that's when you, you lost the game. Yeah, well, when you when you hit when you hear that, that's it. That's raps. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm, damn, bro. Now, nah, like, it, 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 it's something to think about. Yeah. Like when like when you're trying to pursue something in life, like just just keep going, just keep going with it. No, nah, it's important. Like everybody listening right now, as mm-hmm. long as you have faith in yourself and you make sure you believe in what you're doing, you'll be able to do it. Because there's so many things that you can do that you don't even know you can. And as long as, like, you have that faith and you take those steps to make it, like, it will happen. It will be real. 100%. But it just takes that that mindset. Like, you got to believe it or it's not going to happen, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Let's end it off on that. That's a good point. Yeah, bro. So, thanks for coming through, Josh. Yo, it's always nice to be here, man. We'll have you on more, bro. Um, Thank you for everyone watching this episode. If you haven't already, check out the vlog. Check out the other channels. Follow us on Instagram. Josh's Instagram is linked in the bio. All right, jump or jump out.